Okay. These are the two files that I got. One is for DSLR and the other one is from a black and white. I'm a mono camera, 1600mm. I use full luminance channel. Okay. Um, wait, this is, yeah. Okay, let's go first. Let's start from scratch here. Okay, so this is the TIFF file for the luminance channel. Uh, if you stretch that, you can get C gradient here. So that's fine. And this is your Nikon DSLR image, a TIFF image. And they all have different size. Okay. Alright, so unstretch. They're all dark. And let's align the stars first. That's the first thing you need to do. You use one as your reference image. I usually use six uh, mono. And then you drag these two files over here as a target select your output this dimension and align your stars all right you can close this diff file you don't need it it should generate two XF file. Okay. Don't worry about the drizzle data. I usually include them when I stack before I, I stack right? because I need them in high resolution. But in your case, you don't really need it. So now you have two images. And they will match. See? Now that you have two images that will match, you can stretch them and then crop them first. You see these lines here? That's no good. Alright, so um, for your color, uh, your luminance here, let's just crop up to the, uh, oops, sorry. Bring up dynamic crop, dynamic crop, and crop this up to uh, that line, integration line here. And then click this triangle here and drag it outside. Execute. And go here and drag that crop setting here execute the next process is to um, let's see execute background extraction oh sorry um, background neutralization for the color neutralize the background if it's too red Okay, so just stretch that image. You're going to see gradient here. Okay, so for now, start adjusting where you can only see. Not too much, but I usually just adjust this. So it's not so noisy. I think that's it. That's fine. And then I will do a histogram transformation to make that unstretched image. Okay. Now you have an unstretched image that's not too pushed. Stars are not bloated. 
so you make your own judgment here um, this is a quick and dirty way anyway uh, there's a lot of process to make this better but the, for me my eyes good enough okay now you have this and your luminance is still dark you can stretch this also and start adjusting that you can see clearly but not bloated because this is your detail luminance whatever you see here will be the outcome of your image and how dark your image is I mean you can adjust it later on but alright so I'll do this this way and make that the final unstretch image okay so now you have two unstretched image and if you match this should be no problem all right now the next thing you need to do is remove the gradient for the luminance I still see a little gradient see um, we can do is um, but that gradient is not really critical because it, it, only if you really push it too much that's fine this is the one that's critical because if you push it you can see it's this is way too dark on the other side what you can do is you try the um, automatic background extractor first okay this one um, you can leave the tolerance to maybe 1.5 then go down but let's start 1.5 Correction will be subtraction and discard the background image and I say keep. Okay, now if you stretch this image and you stretch the other image, you can see a big difference, right? Now, here if you stretch your image here it's almost this this is more like um, the normal um, vignette or gradient so I'm trying to eliminate it now and close this alright so let's make this your base image I call it RGB image and then I right click here and make that my luminance trainer. Okay. Now here you still see some gradients here. So I mean I can maybe push this a little bit and fix the gradient by doing the dynamic background extraction this time. Let's start. has to be closed okay all right let's get rid of this gradient your artifact is still here but I'm not gonna worry about it it's not in your luminance so that will disappear select samples will be 15 I get the 15 as default for radius correction is subtraction and discard background image I don't really need to see it oh sorry Oh wait, actually no, it wasn't done over there. Oh, no, you have to generate the spots, the uh, the location. Okay, and 
seems like it, everything is covered except your galaxy um, what you can do is you can remove you can probably remove this as long as that is the image you want and execute it all right this is better already so let's escape here close this image and use this as our base image um, what you can do Yeah, this is already the better. Okay. Okay, so unstretch image. What you want to do is uh, the color is not too, uh, it's very, very uh, subtle. It's not really saturated. I usually like a little saturation, but I adjust that later on. On your luminance channel. Okay. Here. Um, you can make this sharper. The thing is with, with sharpening is you're making the stars have a very hard circle in the middle. Right now there's no um, hard circle. But if you're going to do some sharpening on it, you have to be careful because you don't really want those sharp circles in your stars because that will show up in your final image. We can try to do a sharpening using deconvolution okay but do not do it a lot I would reduce so maybe just that then inspect your stars to make sure there's no hard circle in it not you know Okay, here, see, it did not affect a lot, so this is fine, but if I click undo, I can see a very subtle difference. So if I do a undo here, see, it makes the circle, the hard, the stars a little harder, but that's too much, that's fine. you're not gonna see it much okay so now you have two what you need to do is you go back to your color image and make this really blurry by going to convolution okay you click the preview okay um, you don't really want to go blur like that but just good enough to make So uh, the outcome will be uh, different, but um, usually just to blur the colors so you can have your stars have a, um, a transition of really white, but not so hard. You can, that's the blurriness that you want, just the gush and blur. So execute it. Oh, sorry. Push the wrong button there. Execute it. Alright. So here is your image that is blurred. See the stars? Okay. That's how blurry you want the image. Okay. So now that's the blur. Uh, the image is blurry. And the gradient of the image, final image, would be like this luminance. This is how dark it will go. Whatever you see here will appear in your final image. So your um, your blurry image has this artifact. Right? If you stretch this, you see here? That is the one that you worry about. That, but if, if your luminance is really clean, 
you don't really need to worry about it. even if there's dark spots in here you don't really need to worry about it <laughs> okay so open up your lrgb combination okay let's see where is it okay here all right you need to make sure the rgb are unchecked this image is in front and you select your luminance channel which is i already selected blue now here is the uh, thing you need to experiment how dark how bright how saturated your image is. you can use chrominance noise reduction but i usually don't use um, for now i can start with 400 as the brightness and then about 400 for saturation All right, so here's the final image, right, after mixing. Um, right now, it's really bright. The background, you can adjust these curves, but why you want to adjust in curves, you can do it on the LRGB combination. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want. You just check undo. More saturation if you want. More dark. You go up, I would say, 500. Execute again. All right, and a little bit more. Undo. A little bit more darker. I would say six hundred. More saturation, about three sixty. That should be good enough. Then from here you can save this as uh, whatever you want and edit it in Photoshop. Um, or you can apply um, curves. Okay. up to you and then basically this is what I do um, as soon as you uh, learn more tricks you can add to your workflow but this is pretty basic this is the one that um, I use on your um, photo that I posted okay and thank you